Hi everyone, it's Mrs. D. It's 4.30 on Wednesday and we're doing The Word is Live. And uh, in this episode, every Wednesday at 4.30, we're talking about the upcoming Sunday scriptures. So we sing a couple of refrains of our song. I sing, I hope that you're out there singing with me and doing the hand motions. And also um, then we uh, talk about some announcements, what's coming up this week, what's going on. And um, also then after that, we get into Sunday scripture. So I'll be reading a little bit about it, sharing some thoughts with you. And if you have any comments or questions, please um, put those in the comments and uh, let me know that you're there. Say hi so I can call out and say hi to you. Um, if you can, like, like the page. Um, that is always helpful so that you get um, all the things that I've been posting. I keep putting things up. Uh, so I'll talk a little bit about uh, the things that are coming out this week also. Um, so to get us started, let's say uh, we're going to do the um, we're going to do the refrain of our song, and um, and then after that we'll do our prayers, and then I'll do some announcements. So we could get going right now. I'm going to leave back a little bit. Maybe this time you could see my hand motions a little better. Let's give it a try. Okay. So um, the song is Thy Word. It comes from Scripture, and um, it's sung by Amy Grant. And during classes, normally when Faith Formation meets at 4.30 class time, it's grades one to four. And uh, we sing this song and the kids get to lead with the hand motions, which I think is great because I want you to pray with everything, your mind, your body, and your spirit, okay? So uh, simple hand motions. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So God's word is out there ready to help us stay on the path, um, tell us where we want to go. And it's a great scripture for today, talking about the way. And I'll explain that in a second. Okay, so we have, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Okay, so now we've sort of entered into a uh, form of song prayer. Um, and now we're going to uh, do our prayers that you would find on the Mary's Mantle. Uh, prayer card in your rosary booklets or in your textbooks. Um, these are your basic prayers, and everyone should get to know those. So we have the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Glory Be, and the Fatima prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. New Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so... Um, I do a number of videos and on Monday at 10 a.m. I'm live with The Good Life and that one is all about virtues. How can we learn ways that we can uh, get good habits, good dispositions, because those are what virtues are talking about. When we get and build those virtues, get stronger in virtue, um, we find that our lives can um, be happier, maybe a little more peaceful. Not that they're not hard, but we have God to help us through. So um, on Monday, we talked about the virtue of 
um, understanding, which is tough, tough thing to understand. Sometimes we don't get it. And sometimes God is so big that we don't get it. Um, and we're always looking at that big picture. Well, at least God is. We're usually looking at the little things, you know, the downtrodden face of the disciples who are um, walking away from Jerusalem, not knowing where to go, what they're going to do. All of the scriptures that we've been talking about, um, how Jesus can help us through. Understanding is a gift of the Holy Spirit. So if you can, get a chance to listen in on, um, on the Monday virtue talk and uh maybe you'll get some insights let me know put uh put your comments in i keep trying to check them to get an idea of whether they're helpful for people or they had some ideas that i didn't um, to add so i love the conversation so let's keep up the discussion the other thing that's coming up is that uh, we have a lot going on even though we are not you know like actually meeting at church or anything um, a lot of us at St. Gall are putting out videos and discussions, and we have youth things happening on Sunday night. We have Bible studies, all kinds of stuff going on. So I wanted to let you know that the coming up videos for me um, are Monday, our wisdom. Uh, Wednesday, we're going to talk about another Jesus um, I am statement um, that's uh, uh, going to be uh, next week. So we'll look at that. Um, and then the spirit of truth, the advocate um, for the next weekend. So we do these Saturday faith and fun things. So this Sunday coming up, happy Mother's Day to everybody out there um, to keep in mind that uh, you should take a little a bit of a spa day, do something for your mom. So I'll be posting things on the um, Faith Formation Facebook page, and you might see an email or something about things that you can do for mom or that you can make. So watch for our bulletin this weekend from the parish because we have all kinds of things um, in there that are fun um, and inspirational, hopefully. So keep an eye on the Faith Formation Facebook page. Um, for things that you can do, that you can make, or that you can give mom and make her feel special because it's a special day. We're always grateful to my mom, our moms. I am always quoting my mom too, which you probably have heard already. Uh, so it, as we uh, go on, I'm trying to think, uh, we're going to do uh, May crowning on Saturday at 12 p.m. We're going to do May crowning activities, talk about some of the things that you could make, a little bit of coloring tips or drawing tips. Um, and so I think that one will be kind of fun, different kind of discussion, uh, a different kind of activity. And then um, right now, we're going to go straight to our scripture. So when I was doing my reflection for scripture, I had this idea like breaking news. If it was like a news story right now, Jesus said that he's going to be with the father. And actually he said, and um, I'm always reminding you that when he says, amen, amen, I say to you, it's important. He's saying, hello, are you listening? Okay. So he said in scripture, amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do. And we'll do greater ones than these because I'm going to the Father. And all I keep thinking is how those apostles and disciples after Jesus' death and resurrection kept going, now what? Um, this is actually, the scripture for today is from John, but it's actually after the um, bread of life discourse. So as far as scripture, um, when it comes to like the order of scriptures, um, its placement is always interesting. So this is not a scripture from, I have to change glasses to read this. This is not a scripture from um, after Jesus' resurrection. It's almost like we're going back and we're going, wait, what did he tell me? What did he say? I remember him talking about this. He said something about this. Um, so um, after, at the uh, Last Supper discourses, um, he was saying, this is in John chapter 14, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. So on my advertising for today, I said, have faith. It seems so simple. There was so much in the scripture that I wanted to talk about. But really, it's very simple. Just have faith. 
And um, when you translate that Greek word for faith, it's also translated trust. We have faith in someone and we trust in someone and that's Jesus. So we're going to find out what does he tell us today about how we're supposed to do this. Uh, he says, you have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? So he's telling us that um, heaven is almost like a mansion. It's a huge house. Everybody's got a room. Isn't it cool that you have a room in God's house? You have your own place, your own place to check out from everybody, to find some peace, whatever, that, that, uh, that God's talking about his father and what a great house he has. I think that's really cool that um, a lot of scripture points to things that we can know and understand. Um, we have a house. God hopefully is living in our house and we're practicing those virtues and we're trying to be Christ-like in our house. So to uh, bring those things home. Uh, so he said, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself so that where I am, you also may be. So, and where I am going, you know the way. Now this part, this next part, I find is always interesting because here goes Thomas, poor Thomas. Uh, Thomas said to him, he's brave, he asks questions. We should all ask questions, right? Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? I mean, like, how do you get there? It's not like a road or you get on a bus or you get on a train, you buy a ticket. I always think of that analogy with, um, with the resurrection, with Jesus dying on the cross. He purchases the ticket for us. He gives us the ticket. We just got to get on the train so we can go. You know, what do we need to do? What's our part to do in, um, in this process of getting to heaven, the promise of eternal life that we get? So um, Jesus says the I am statement. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Okay? I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, that's all you need to know. Follow me. Okay? If you want to know the truth, I'm telling you the truth. If you want to understand things, you got to read it, figure it out, talk to people you trust. That was part of our understanding discussion on Monday. Um, no one comes to the Father except through me. We just had the scripture about how Jesus said in John's gospel, I am the gate. I, I'm, I'm taking care of you. I'm watching out for you. I've got it all taken care of. Just come to me. I'm the gate. You can get in through me. Okay, so we have a way. He's telling us the way. Philip said, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Like, if you just show us God, then we'll get it. Well, Jesus said, have I been with you for so long a time, and you still not, do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen the Father, um, let's see, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. So one of the things that we want to think about is if we have God and God is within us and um, he is having some kind of effect, we're carrying him around, we're trying to look like Christ and be like Christ, then uh, we do need to um, let him work in us. Let him change us. Uh, he'll help us grow. Um, so he sends us the Holy Spirit, Spirit, and we're going to talk about that in the coming weeks too. Uh, we're given the Holy Spirit in baptism, so we have all of the tools that we need. We have the toolbox. Uh, confirmation stirs those gifts up, but we're going to um, keep in mind that we have what we need. We just need to ask for help or ask the Holy Spirit to help us. Later he says, amen, amen, I say to you. He says it again, hello. Uh, this is important. Pay attention right now. Whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I'm going to the Father. So, and he does go on to say, whatever um, you ask in my name, I will do so that my Father may be glorified in the Son. So God is willing to help us and we can um, do amazing things if we let him work in us, if we keep trying to be more like him as we go uh, to keep his commandments, 
to uh, do the things that we need to do. And in in the days that we are now, where we're at home, or even like Mother's Day, we're not going out for Mother's Day. Maybe we're not doing all of the things that we might have done um, normally. Now we're being sure that whatever we do, we're thinking about what's best for others around us. Uh, doing some good work, saying hi to your neighbors, sharing things with other people, trying to be nice and good at home. Whatever you can do uh, to make the world a better place, it should make a difference. So in today's scripture, we want to remember that Jesus is saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So if we want to live this good life, like I keep talking about virtues on Mondays, um, that we want to remember that we need Jesus' help. So we want to be on the road with him. We want to have a, him within us as best we can um, to keep trying and keep remembering that he loves us and he wants us to be in heaven and have eternal life. His father's house is big. He's got room for everybody. So uh, let's try to keep our focus on that and um, keep going, okay? So um, as we uh, talk about all of these things and remember everything that's happened in the resurrection, we want to keep reading scripture, keep talking about it, keep going to mass, listening to the homily, keep talking to your friends or your parents or your trusted adults about the best things for you and other people so that we can be the best version of ourselves and who God wants us to be. So um, I'd like to say again, God be with everyone. Peace be with you. Um, maybe I'll see you on Saturday at 12 p.m. or I'll see you next week on Monday with, uh, with our virtue lesson on wisdom. So it's a tough thing trying to be wise. And Saturday, we're going to do May crowning things and Mother's Day gifts. It should be a fun episode of Faith and Fun at 12 p.m. So maybe I'll see you then. All right. Peace be with you.